Hello friends, it's Phil and today's podcast is kind of in two pieces. So enjoy listening to the two pieces or actually me being me rambling on as I do. See whether you spot the two pieces. So the first piece, seeing as it's the start of the season and let's say the beds are lingering the digging is looming, I thought I'd basically share some guidance on my view of digging. And over the years, I have dug for glory. I've either dug small holes, little holes for little pots, or I've dug big holes, I mean huge holes. I call them graves for huge pots. Or I've dug sections for footings, or I've dug sections for walls, or I've double dug in preparation for vegetable growing. I've dug for glory. But here's the thing about digging that is quite intriguing, actually, in my mind. When you dig, an area of ground, you're always digging in preparation for the next task, in theory. Some people may go out digging just for the reason of digging, which actually I don't know anyone who'd actually want to go and do that, but let's say sometimes digging over your bed seems like a fruitless task, but consider this. You don't have to go in for the full double dig, for reference. You can do things gradually. A little dig at a little time, constantly making little progress. So, as an example in this rambling podcast, if you are looking to dig over the beds, or if you're looking to de-weed the beds, my top tip is, Use the spade as a kind of a chipper and chip away frenetically at, say, the top 100 mil, the top 10 centimeters. And when you're digging like that, you're probably not digging as such, but when you're turning the earth with your spade like that, it's really just a a little jab of the soil and a twist of the wrist to just loosen off the soil and this is a really really effective way to get the season started when you're thinking about weeding particularly because once you've loosened off that crust you can then agitate the crust throughout the rest of the season with your fork or rake but here's the other thing if you loosen off the top if you allow some air in to the top, it helps to dry, let's say dry out that top soil, which my friends, then makes the bigger dig, even more diggity dig, diggity, diggity, diggity easy. You can then go in for the deeper dig, the 20 centimeter dig, and then maybe you can go even further in for the full spade dig but the idea of this agitating constantly process is it makes it easier and by making it easier you're not digging heavy wet damp soil you can if done correctly with the correct commitment and the correct constantness you will gradually loosen off the beds to whatever gain may come next, whether it's veg planting, whether it's basically planting herbaceous plants, whether it's planting other stuff. Now, can I give you any top tips on digging bigger holes? Well, my top tip on digging bigger holes, and a bigger hole in my book is anything that is more than a 20 litre hole. 
and I think about that in, in, in sort of the size of a plant pot. Anything like that, get someone else to do it. <laughs> That's my tip for you. Anyway, part two of this podcast now is a little bit of a secret. And the reason why I've put it five minutes in is because only those that listen to this point will learn about the newsletter, the All Gardening Newsletter. Now, here's the thing about the All Gardening Newsletter. It currently has 275 people on the newsletter. And the newsletter is there more to inform and inspire. But how does it inform and get inspired? Well, the content, the ideas, and the thinking, and the journey, and the the propagation of that newsletter comes from the world around me, let's say is one, the stuff that passes me by too, and also the community that you are of, you are part of by listening to this, the community that offer up some insight into what's happening through the All Gardening Cafe on Facebook. So look, the newsletter doesn't go out very often because if the content for the newsletter hasn't been unearthed, if it hasn't been grown, if it hasn't been propagated, discovered, found, or dusted off, let's say, then there's nothing there to go. The newsletter doesn't go. It waits. Like growing, it needs to be tended and cared for and fed, and then it grows and it gets delivered and dispatched. But the thing is about the newsletter, by the way, just rambling on a bit about this a bit more, is that there's 275 people on it so far. And they are a collection of customers and a collection of people around the world that have signed up to the newsletter. Hello, everyone. But the this is probably going to be the last time I talk about the newsletter. It's probably going to be the first time and the last time I talk about the newsletter because I want to learn more about the people that are on it. I want to understand what intrigues them. I want to see if I can bring the all gardening community alive and into action to contribute to the newsletter. So here's the thing. The newsletter will be there to be accessed on the All Gardening website, but it's not going to be promoted anywhere. And if anything, I've currently got a pop-up on the website that says join the newsletter. I'm going to leave that there for now, but it might well disappear, which means the newsletter can only be found by those that really, 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 really want to join the newsletter. I don't need to grab you. I don't want to grab your attention. I want you to feel a sense that you are part of a growing newsletter and if there is nothing growing there it won't grow but if there is something there and i'm absolutely sure the 275 people that are currently there most of them nearly all of them read the last newsletter and there has only been two newsletters in this year once a month and the third one's primed to go out but it's just waiting it's just still waiting for something to happen for it to have grown enough to be potted on let's say metaphorically speaking anyway look so In summary, my friends, enjoy the digging, nice and steady. Just remember, chip off the top, let it dry, chip off at the top, let it dry. Go a bit deeper, go a bit deeper, go a bit deeper. Ta-da, beautiful. Hire someone else to do your 20 litre pot holes, obviously. And if you're intrigued about the newsletter, I'll put it in the link 
in the description notes so you can always link to it there but that's going to be the last time that i promote it it's gonna be the last time i talk about it i am now gifting it over to you to help it grow like all good things Hmm, intriguing anyway i'm pleased i've done that there we go anyway i thought thanks for listening episode 190 that makes it only 10 more episodes and it's 200 that is 200 days of doing a podcast in the last two and a bit years i'm quite proud of that but it's only the beginning so anyway thanks for listening all of you around the world i'm phil take care Ta-da. bye see ya bye Thank you.